Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here for Scrapbook Boutique today. And I have decided to play with some Yupo and some alcohol inks. There's heaps of great ideas out on the internet at the moment using these really fun products. So I just thought I'd try and see how I can get them to work for me. I like bright colours, I like flowers and I like clean and simple. So I decided to combine all of that together here today. These three colours came in the same pack, which was called Spring Break. So I thought I'd actually combine the three colours here on my cardstock. And I've got some isopropyl alcohol here, which is, I think, what is called rubbing alcohol in the US. Um, it's not really easy to come across here, but I did find it in one of the big stores here in the paint sort of section. And rather than spray that on, I have actually just used the end of the nozzle to drip that on so I have a little bit more control. I'm mixing the colours with each other just to see how they react and I'm also using some of the colours and I have actually stamped um, done this because I want to actually use this Ulta New stamp over top so I have actually chosen where I'm going to drop my colours. I know it's the control freak in me, I can't help myself. <laughs> I was really surprised actually how far the alcohol pushed the colors out and apparently the blending solution that you can buy works really well even better but I just don't have any of that here on hand I will have to get some though so I did once I sort of got this how I thought I wanted it I just kept adding and dropping and once I was ready to sort of think well that's how I want my end colors to be I did set this aside to dry for quite a while and I didn't want to lose any of the brightness so I did actually come back in with some more of the orange and add that back in the center without adding the alcohol so it did end up a little bit thick in places but it seemed to dry fine my sentiment today comes from an MFT set which is called anything but basic birthday wishes and it has some really fun sentiments. I'm going to white heat emboss this on some black cardstock and I've prepped this cardstock really really well can you tell <laughs> with some powder and this is just using the um, the powder tool and I find that this works really well. I also have an anti-static powder bag and that's great too but this is an old piece of cardstock and they do get lots of finger marks over time so I find if I add lots of powder it works perfectly I don't have to try to clean up too many stray bits so after I have hit it with my heat tool I do just let it dry for a few seconds and then to get rid of that excess powder I just come in with an old rag and wipe it away you'll never know I'm going to cut my Yupo panel down now and this is actually going to cover the whole front of my card it is a really white cardstock which is great so my cardstock that I generally use is um, very similar so I could probably leave gaps and not have to sort of get really weird about the matchy matchy for the whites but I decided to actually cover the whole front of the card. Now this is where I didn't know whether it was going to work or not. I've got the Charmed stamp from Altenew and this is a lovely sort of washy kind of watercolory floral bouquet and I've got some archival jet black ink and I did a little bit of reading up and I found that the archival ink actually um, works well on the Yupo paper with the alcohol inks and the trick is to allow it a good 20 minutes to dry well I let, let it dry longer than that <laughs> and that seemed to work just fine and that's why I actually attached the panel to the front of my card first because I didn't want to be mucking around with it after that I'm using my Misty so I can stamp it a few times and that was actually a good idea because I did need to stamp it a few times especially over a couple of those areas that had a lot of ink on them and I have got a piece of acetate here just protecting my cardstock while I position it for a second stamping aren't these colors just beautiful and was so easy to do as well and there are so many wonderful videos out there with some great techniques to try using these products so I've got some more um, ideas so hopefully I'll get to share them with you here soon
I have popped my sentiment up with some black foam squares and I did come in and add some black enamel dots as well. And that's my finished card for today. I'll link everything below or you can head to my blog and find everything there. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.